God touched my heart with this word today. And the word that he gave me is, you are doing great. God says, you are doing great. In fact, he says, you are doing outstanding, fantastic. It is fabulous. God wants you to know that he is pleased with you. Now, I know that this word is going to get to the people that need to hear it. And I have to be real here. I needed to hear it myself because sometimes things get so complicated. We can even complicate our prayer life and we can start to second guess ourselves and this world can tell us that we're not good enough somehow it's not enough who you are you have to be more than who you are and all that and so as god was just giving me this word to release he really really it came with this with this overwhelming love and the Lord wants to take you to the next level. Yes, in all kinds of things. But one of the main things he wants to take you to the next level is in the love that he has for you. He wants you to be secure. He wants you to know that you are good enough, that you are valuable, that you are worth it, that you are, that you are okay as you are. And I don't know who you have in your life that may, you may not have anyone who's telling you good job, who's telling you, you know, well done, who's saying you're doing a great job, you're doing the right thing. But the Lord is impressing right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Just let this saturate you right now as I'm releasing this word because many many of god's children are feeling that they're not good enough and they're even comparing themselves or they're you know they're going by the opinions of other people and let's face it a lot of people aren't going they, they, they could be putting you down or they won't even you know they just won't even compliment a job that you're doing it could be in the workplace it could be in the home you know it could be the people that are closest to you but the lord he wants you to know he chose you because he loves you yes thank you jesus john 15 verse 16 there's so many scriptures that i could have um used here but this is what i felt god was dropping into my spirit you did not choose me but i chose you that's the words of jesus I chose you. That's what the Lord is emphasizing. I chose you, he's saying. I chose you because I wanted you. I chose you because I love you. I chose you. I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. So God wants you to know that you're not missing it. You haven't missed it. That's another thing. The enemy tries to tell us, you know, you miss God. Um, you know, you, you, are you really doing the right thing? God wants you to know, yeah, you are on the right track. You made the right decision. You are making the right decision. And even as I'm just releasing this word right now, the Holy Spirit, he is your teacher your comforter, your counselor. He wants to comfort you by letting you know that you're okay, by letting you know that you are enough. And he's saying right now, God is saying, I love teaching you. You are a pleasure to teach. You see the Holy Spirit, he's your teacher. And have you ever had a teacher, maybe you haven't, a teacher that put on a report card that you're a pleasure to teach, that it's a pleasure to have you in the class. And that's what the Lord wants you to know, that he is, he has a great joy and he is so happy with what you're doing. And he is proud of you as a father is proud you know, when you have a good father 
and they're proud of you. And it's not just based on performance, but it's just who you are, who you are. That's what God, God loves you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm just thinking about when, you know, when Peter had, um, you know, he messed up there. He denied Christ three times and then Christ came out and met him on the shore. And the question was, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And I'm just sensing, you know, God wants you to know we love each other and that that's going to be enough. <sighs> you know, the fact that God loves you and you love him is going to be enough for everything that you need in your life. So you're doing the right thing. You're making the right decisions. The Lord says, you trusted me. You connected to me. I'm pleased with you. I enjoy every minute that we're together. <laughs> Glory be to God. He is your best friend. You might have been betrayed and left and just, you know, people can really burn you. But God wants you to know he thinks you're awesome. He is saying you are doing a great job. You are doing great. And, you know, we need to hear that. But we need to hear it from the Lord. God is saying, I want to bless you. I want to pour out blessings over you. I want to give you so much. I want to give you abundant life with everything that that includes mentally, spiritually, emotionally, socially, socially, financially, professionally, ministerially, in every way of your life. God is saying, I want to pour it out on you. Isn't that how you want to treat somebody that you love, that you cherish? And they don't always have to be jumping through hoops for you. You know, they don't have to be always trying to perform. You know, the people that you love, you just love them. And that's what God wants you to know. I just love you as you are. Okay, can you receive it right now? Because you need to receive this. Because he's saying, I don't want this lack of self-worth, which is really a lot of what it comes down to. I don't want this tainted you know, maybe you didn't have a good father in your life. Um, you know, maybe you had a, a bad marriage or, or just you haven't felt that love. And he's saying, I don't want this to limit what I can do in your life. Because if we don't overcome this, you know, inferiority complex when it comes to our heavenly father, God can't, you know, he's got to get, get us in, in the place of faith. He has to get us faith and love. You know, it's, it's like two sides of the coin, right? So that's what I wanted you to, to, to hear today. God says, I am pleased with you. You are doing great. You are doing outstanding, excellent. You are amazing. He thinks you are awesome. You're right where you're supposed to be. Yeah, he's working on us. But you're where you're supposed to be right now. He loves you as you are right now. And that's why Jesus went to the cross. That's how much. So I pray that blesses you. And, um, you know, I pray it just grounds you again um, back to the simplicity of just this is about a relationship not a religion it's not about ministry and all these things that we make it to be you know it's it's the simplicity of your father loves you and he says you are doing an outstanding job <laughs> thank you jesus okay so that's it that's what i wanted to release i pray you're blessed Make sure you are subscribing because I'm going to prophesy over your life. 
And I prophesy it right now that you are receiving a fresh revelation of the love of the Father, that, that, that the love of the Father, God is just engulfing you right now with his love. You are being touched. You are being taken into a deep, deep place of the Father's love, the Father's heart, and everything is going to be okay. That's what I hear for you too. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Everything is going to be just fine. God bless you. Thank you for your gifts to the ministry, your prayers. I love you so much. And I pray for you. And you are always in my daily prayers every day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.